Hi Aries couples, I am Phoenix Rising and if you're hearing my voice, you're watching my channel. I hope it's not too dark, my lamp is on. If it is, just comment at the bottom and I'll make sure next time I bring my lamp closer. Um, if you are new, you can click like, subscribe, you can share me and if you are a returning Aries couple, thank you guys for coming back. Um, I am here to do a love read for you guys. This love read will start um, today, um, and it'll be for December. Um, if it doesn't apply, I always tell you, let the shit fly. Everything is not for everybody. So you could just click another YouTube read on here and maybe they can hook you up, you know, and then you'll be good. So, but this is only for Aries couples. If you are not an Aries couples, this is not for you. I did singles like maybe well, a week ago, I think. So I'm a little behind, but, um, yeah, okay, so I'm going to jump straight into the readers general. If it don't apply, let it fly, throw the shit away. It don't matter. Okay, guys, we just came out of a full moon. Um, We had a full moon a couple days ago, so we still got the energy. It will, It left like Tuesday morning. Um, So I hope you guys, if you're into sage and uh, washing your crystals, that's what I did. Charge my cards up and all that good stuff, girl. No okay. So, I'm going to start y'all read, y'all. I'm going to start. I was a little delayed. Earlier, the camera cut off on me, right? Pissed me off. I had got like halfway through. Spirit was like, oh, I don't I don't want that reading. I want you to say some, some other stuff. So, we're going to start over. So, I'm cool with that, you know. And um, I'm going to tell y'all this real quick because I, like I like to talk to my subscribers and my viewers. So, you know, we can be on point about stuff. Why did I just... Okay, I'm going through a twin flame breakup. I'm just going to tell y'all something real quick before I start y'all read. Because I need, I need to talk to somebody. I don't like talking to people that much. So let me just tell y'all real quick. I'm probably going to talk about this shit for the rest of the night. But me and my twin flame are completely separated right now. Like for months. We're not together. So don't feel bad if you're going through love shackle shit in your love life, right? So I'm dating somebody else. I call myself manifesting my soulmate. What do I do that for? He came in 10 days. Okay, literally. So now I'm dealing with my twin flame and my soulmate. But check this out. So my twin flame they met somebody and they on the on the Facebook uh and she putting it out there what, what's going on. So I'm just laughing because it's a downgrade. Like they got all together, they got about 13 kids together. Dead dead ass. Like sorry, Aries. I just had to uh tell another fire sign. You don't let nobody get you down to make you mad. That was supposed to piss me off. Like, bye. Okay, bye. I'm on big and better. That's how spirit feel. Anyway, let's get to y'all read. Just had to tell y'all that. Like, uh, you know how it is when you finally see the other person. You be like, that's it? <laughs> that's what the fuck? Okay. Okay. Anyway, let's get to start, Aries. Okay. Spirit guides, Mike Archangel. Give me beautiful messages for my Aries couples. Aries couples. I'm going to do four cards from this deck and four cards from the other deck. Aries couples. Aries couples. Mm. Got the Ace of Wands. I feel like it's too dark. I'm going to move this camera. Ace of Wands for your first card. I'm going to do four. You got the Eight of Wands in reverse. Let me bend this down a little bit. Mm. Okay. Two more cards, Spirit, for Aries couples. Two more cards. Ooh, with three, three, three on the clock. Two more cards. Aries couples, two more cards. Spirit guys, my God, Angel. I didn't ram my mouth to y'all enough. This card came out, uh, Pentacles came out earlier when I had did the pre-shuffle. Last card. Aries couples, Aries couples. Ooh, ooh. Aries couples. Aries couples. Last card, Spirit. Mike Archangel, Higher Power Source. Give me one last card for Aries couples. I want to jump into this read. The Ten of... This came out earlier. The Ten of Cups. Okay, so let's get into it. Because I have ran my mouth and took enough of your time. At the opening of your read, Aries, you got the Ace of Wands. This is uh, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. Wands, uh, most of the time, mean great sex. So, some of you could be having great sex with this person with 444 on the card. But wands is about uh, fast movement, and this is, like, about starting fresh. So, for me, I feel like the ace of wands would be 
a um, new venture, a new beginning, a, a something new, something wanting to start fresh with something new. Um, maybe you and this person that you're dealing with, this could be a new person. And you could be like having the greatest sex and this is the beginning of the relationship and it's just the greatest sex for some of you. And then for some of you, I feel like that you want to start over in this relationship. Like you, you, some of you need a fresh new start because it's stale I'm picking up. I'm picking up stale for a relationship for some of you. So it's like needing a, a new start, a new beginning, something fresh. You got the eight of wands. Like I said, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Energy. The Eight of Wands, somebody is not talking. Somebody's not a communication. So, or it's barely in a com any communication in this household. Um, if it was this way, it's like you riding in, you know, a communication. But it's this way for 555 five, five on the clock. So, it's like somebody, somebody ain't fucking talking. Somebody don't want to fucking talk. Somebody like, okay, you know what? I ain't in the mood. Or this is like, stop. The communication has stopped. This is also hasty actions in the wrong direction. You know, so that could take that how it resonates. But I'm feeling like um, even with somebody with this new beginning, it's some type of delay or cancel. Um, I also feel like you got um, the eight is about in reverse is about um, impulse issues. So, so you, either, you you and your mate might have some like some issues of being impulsive, out of control. Um, Wanting this beginning, but it's a late start. You want a, a new start, but it's it's not it's not coming as fast as it should. That's what I'm picking up with this eight of wands. Um, it's also about um, negativity and being impatient, but it's lack of romance overall. Like no fucking romance here. I feel like for some of you, it's about foundations of uh, materialistic earthly things, car, possessions, money, where you live at, bills being paid. The um, ace of uh, this is just basically the ace of pentacles. Okay, this is the this is the pentacle. So the ace of pentacles to me is about um, beginnings of material wealth and comforts and gains of earthly things like on earth. So it's wanting material gain. And basically wanting either uh, to recommit, a new commitment, or like a fresh start. Something fresh, something starting new. Because you got two aces and they both... In the, so this is about a, a beginning, something starting fresh and starting new. You got the Ten of Cups um, upright. The Ten of Cups is about completion. Wanting a complete completion with the family. It's basically... This is the soulmate card. So some of you are dealing with a soulmate. This is like blessings, good luck, marriage. And that's what you want. That's what you want. Okay? So I feel like for some of you, you it's not there yet. Like the completion of what you want is not there yet. It's not a whole story yet, if that makes sense. It's like you got the one and the ten. So it's in between. There's some things I'm missing, I feel like. Okay, so we're going to go with this deck, too. Yeah, I feel like some things are missing, and that's the issue. So, give me clarification for the Ace of Wands for us. Aries couple. Sorry, guys. Why is the Ace of Wands here? Let's pull some from this deck. Spirit guys, Mike Archangel, why is the Ace of Wands here for Aries couple? Ace of Wands, Aries couple. Spirit guys, Mike Archangel, give me messages for the Ace of Wands for Aries couple. Why is the Ace of Wands? Why is this fresh start here? What is that? What are they not getting? Are they getting a fresh start? What Ace of Wands? Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands. All right, let's see. King of Wands. Some of you are dealing with the fire sign, like I said. Um, Leo Sagittarius, Aries energy. Yep, okay, so let's get to it. This King of Wands, on a regular basis, is usually, um, he has a way with words, he's honest, he's charming, he's loyal, and this is who you want to fresh start with for some of you. It don't have to be a fire sign, it can be. He's funny, he's charming, he's passionate, he's proud, but he can be controlling, he can be hot-tempered, and he can be a born leader, but he does have a smart mouth. He can be rude sometimes, okay, and somewhat of a dictator. And I feel like <clears throat> with this page, 
there's something immature. There's some immature energy. The Page of Cups, I feel like maybe sometimes with his words, it might be a little immature. Um, the Page of Cups, it, since it's in reverse, um, this is like... Um, mm, He could be a seducer, too, for some of you. Um, this is hmm, childhood issues for this man. Yeah, some this king, this fresh start of what you want and how you think you want things to go. I feel like the page of cups is in reverse. You also could be dealing with a Pisces. Sagittarius, poof, I already said Sagittarius. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Now, what I will say about this page of cups in reverse is that, um, yeah, it's like cancel plans. This king could sometimes, for some of you, not all, be a hoe. Um, this is envious. And some, he could have had some sexual abuse or trauma from the past. Um, and he could be somewhat jealous. And that might be the issue. I feel like this king is not always as mature as he, as he, as he can be or he should be. And that's why you got the page of cups. It's like immature communication for some of you too. Why is the <clears throat> the eight of wands here in reverse? Let's put this here. Some of you definitely dealing with a fire sign. Woo. Why is the eight of wands here? Eight of Wands, Spirit Guides, Mike Archangel, Higher Power Source. Why is the Eight of Wands here for Aries Couple? Oh, yeah. You got Judgment with this um, No Communication. And then you got these Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. So, Judgment is here with this No Communication card. I feel like the judgment card is here because, um, and it's not in reverse. So this is wanting a renewal. Um, I feel like if, if the person's not talking, if they're gone or moved out, somebody's homesick. And this is about forgiveness. Um, there's no communication, but there needs to be some forgiveness on either your part or your partner's part. But this is like self-evaluation. Um, somebody waking in. This is um, indecisive snap decision and renewal. Making a snap decision about maybe calling, wanting to renew uh, a fresh start with this situation. But definitely um, with the judgment card, it's like making a swift judgment. Yeah, swiftness and judgment. It's like making a swift judgment coming in, trying to decide what to do. Because it's like something about being indecisive. Yeah, something about being indecisive. Wanting to, to renew. A lot of you <clears throat> have been with this person for a while and you just want to renew the relationship. You want a, a fresh start with the like to start over, but renewal of it all. Okay? Not uh, and some of you can be dealing with a, a can a Scorpio or a Cancer with this uh judgment card. You got the seven of pentacles. In reverse, the Seven of Pentacles, like I said, could be an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. This is about building, building, and building. This is someone looking back on everything they built and they put in and the time they built in, put in with this person and feeling like maybe they're not getting everything out of it that they want. If you've been building for, some of you have been with this person seven years, that's why you got the Seven of Pentacles. But it's like if you've been dealing with this person for a long time, I feel like in reverse, you want more of a commitment for some of you, or you want more. Because um, it feels like somebody procrastinating. We're even coming in with communication. This is laziness, procrastination, um, waste. Somebody wasted your time, you feel like. For some of you, this is like setbacks, delays. And I feel like I'm going to call it that because you've gotten that more than once during this reading. It's all about setbacks and delays. Um, not putting your best foot forward and postpones. Someone's a workaholic too and it throws somebody completely off. It actually throws off the relationship as far as um, like it's a change of plans with this. Yeah. Somebody's so much of a workaholic, y'all don't have time to communicate. Y'all don't really have time. And somebody is doing some self-evaluations for that because of that. Mm. Yeah, like they like, um, okay, things gotta switch up. But yeah, it's a lot of delays going on. It don't mean it's not coming, Aries couple. It just means it's a delay, and I don't think you like that. 
Um, the Ace of Discs, which is the Ace of Pentacles, like I said, it's about material gain. So somebody is really concerned about money a lot. That's why you got the Workaholic card with the Seven of Pentacles. Now you got the Ace of Pentacles, all about money. You know, this king can also be thinking about money, not love. And I see that's the difference. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? When you got a partner thinking about money and you thinking about love, y'all bump heads. Because somebody thinking about survival and somebody thinking about love. And them two different damn things. Yep, feeling in uh, one apology. This is the justice card. Some of you could be dealing with a Libra. I know I am. Um, five of Cups um, is uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Five is about conflict. So some of you, this could be conflicting. This is chaos, crisis, competition. Somebody might feel like, oh, I got to compete because he always at work or she always at work or they don't have time. Instability. <clears throat> The justice card is, um, like I said, it's Libra's energy, but with this, you wanting to have justice, uh, this is karmic justice, this is honesty, integrity. Some of you, I feel like you haven't, um, this is like law, consequences, this is cause and effect and learning life lesson, but I also feel like with this justice card, I feel like you're going to have some justice with your money. And that might make things better. I feel like some of you are going to be saving money. And some of you will be able to get ahead a little better. And it will cause <clears throat> this thing of worrying about pinnacles, money, all the time. To not constantly be on your mind. Where you can kind of live outside of that and think and do other stuff. So you won't get so bogged down with just that. You got the five of cups. This is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. You got three cups. So somebody been waiting for three months, three weeks for you to change. They feeling like it's no change. The cups are over. But there's you two still back there. You see? The two cups. Cup And two is about pairing. So it's like you looking at time that has been wasted three years, however long. Take it how it resonates. But it's like not realizing what's behind you. And it did come, up, come out upright. So that means with the five of cups, I would simply say that... Um, it's like sadness, heartbreak, um, somebody's feeling about something that happened in the past, regret, anger, loss, remorse. Um, this is breakup, guilt. Like I said, yeah, somebody could, somebody could be trying to break up with you or you guys might be going through grief. But one an apology for arguing about money. That's what I'm picking up. One an, one an apology for arguing about money. And looking back and realizing that maybe the words was unnecessary. I feel like some of you had words about something dealing with money. Delays and setbacks is what I'm going to call this one. Uh oh It's telling you to have strength, though. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo. Have strength. It flew out the deck. If Message Spirit wants you to have strength and know that things will improve. You have to... Nobody can do nothing to you if you don't allow them. So if you don't feel like a person is treating you right with communication and whatever, you got the right to fucking say fuck them. Fuck them. Fuck them. Just that simple. You got every damn right to tell a motherfucker, you know what? I don't want to deal with this shit no more. This is inner strength, doubt, compassion, control, courage, bravery. You got to take no shit from nobody. Aries couple. Nah, okay. Here we go. 18 minutes. I ain't taking too long. Now, why is the Ten of Cups here for Aries couple? All these delays and stuff. And then now somebody don't want to talk? Oh, hell no. Oh, hell to the no, no. <laughs> Ten of Cups, spirit. Ten of Cups. Wait a minute. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups. You got the moon in reverse with the Ten of Cups. Secrets, lies, could be why. Uh, somebody could be lying about how they feel. Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio. But the moon is in reverse. And the Ace of Pentacles is in reverse. That's why I said something's not moving. It's a delay. You got one pinnacle up and one pinnacle down. So with this, and, I, and this all surrounds family. The moon um, in reverse, like I said, it is Scorpio energy. It's Pisces and Scorpio and Cancer energy to be exact. But the moon is sitting in reverse, in my eyes, I would say that 
Hmm. Something that's being hidden. Yeah, some is definitely being hidden with the moon. This is a uh, release of fears, unveiling of secrets in this Ten of Cups. It's something that's being hidden with this, with your mate, or you had some subsiding anxiety. This is blocked intuition, so you're not seeing things clearly. This is self deception, so you could have been deceiving yourself in a situation, thinking it was gonna get better, or this person was gonna marry you, or y'all was gonna be able to save money, or they they wasn't gonna be at work as much. But this is um, truth regains composure. Yeah. Yeah, because it's in reverse. That's why this Ten of Cups is not, it's not a completion. And you got the Ace of Pentacles. You know, like I said, you already, already had the Pentacles. But the Ace of Pentacles in reverse is uh, misery, greed, power, blind you. So this person is probably blinded by greed of money. Or either you are. And it's messing up the connection. Worrying about money. Not being honest about stuff. Not telling the truth about everything. Delays and setbacks. Okay. Spirit, give me, um, let's do four cards at the close of the read. Yep. Aries couple. Aries couple. Aries couple. Aries couple. Aries couple. What'd I say? Deception. Deception, damn it. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Now, it don't have to be an infidelity mask. It could be how they feel about you or how you feel or what you want out of the situation. It's like a sense of somebody walking on eggshells and not saying anything. It's engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. And for some of you, that's what you wanted. You want this disengagement. And like I said, that's the issue. For some of you, you're not even talking right now because of behind this situation. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. There's something hidden with the moon. And the signs are cautioning you about something it's time to pay attention to. Religious factors. With this tenant completion. Your love life is um, influenced by religious upbringing and spiritual path. Y'all not on the same path. You're not aligned. With 2222 on the clock. That's what I really feel. I feel like some of you are not aligned with your mates. And at the bottom of the deck. It's saying, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from the usual expectations that you have, okay? So this might be a little different. Okay, Aries couples, I'm not going to keep you long. Um, This is your love read. Come back and see me. Click like, subscribe, share me. I am Phoenix Rising, and I will see you guys on the next video. Until next time, guys, bye-bye. Love.